So you've been taking any drugs? I don't, I don't, I don't take drugs. No, I don't take drugs. No, no. Do you remember what time you took the pills? How are you feeling? What's the tag? How many, how many bags are you on? How many bags of heroin are you on? Oh, uh, just what did you take today, then? What did you take today? You don't, you don't, you don't, you never took, you never, you ever take acid? No. All right, so then how are you gonna, what do you know about it? Well, you can tell me. Well, I can't tell you, you don't, you can't, you can't explain, man, what's going on in your brain. You can't tell somebody how, what, what's happening, what's going on in your, in your mind. You just, why can you? Why don't you just try? Every physician recognizes the feeling of satisfaction that comes with the successful handling of a life-threatening emergency. Among the most difficult and yet most frequently encountered today is the drug abuse emergency. Often the situation is complicated by histories that are notoriously unreliable and by conflicting signs and symptoms brought on by unknown combinations of drugs. Proper diagnostic techniques, coupled with appropriate emergency measures, invariably produce rewarding results. Would you put it on? Get some ice, please. Where is it? Um, okay, okay. One of the drug emergencies seen with increasing frequency is the heroin overdose. Heroin overdose and barbiturate intoxication sometimes present a similar clinical picture. There are, however, several distinguishing signs. With heroin, the pupils are pinpoint, whereas only minor constriction or none at all occurs in barbiturate intoxication. And in the habitual heroin user, a prominent set of tracks is usually visible. Naline is a specific antagonist for heroin. While response to naline is usually both rapid and dramatic, patients do not always react aggressively. Precise diagnosis is essential. Should the heroin overdose be complicated by barbiturate intake, naline may add to the patient's already depressed respiration. Narcan, another heroin antagonist, does not depress respiration, even when barbiturates have been taken at the same time. It won't stay. Huh? Okay. It won't stay. Despite the dramatic recovery, the patient is not discharged immediately. Vital signs must be checked every half hour for at least two to three hours. If the patient relapses, naline or Narcan is administered again and the vital signs checked over the next three to six hours. 
quick action is important in both diagnosis and treatment since respiratory failure is an ever-present danger in all central nervous system depressant abuse. Immediate resuscitative measures should be available, ranging from simple mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, where the situation precludes any other possibility, to the more sophisticated means of support, such as endotracheal intubation and tracheostomy. Changing the unresponsive patient's position periodically prevents the development of hypostatic pneumonia. Some characteristics of barbiturate intoxication are confusion, staggering gait, drowsiness, drunken behavior, slurred speech, fogged memory, and irritability. Depressant effects are heightened significantly when the drug is taken in combination with alcohol. Multiple drug abuse presents a more complicated picture. A marked set of needle tracks in the barbiturate abuser may indicate heroin addiction as well. Listen, you hear me? Huh? Did you take any heroin today? No. You sure about it? Yeah. Patients' veins are often collapsed because of repeated heroin injections, necessitating a cut down for the administration of fluids and medications or for blood samples. When there is some doubt as to how the drugs were taken, a gastric lavage is done. Okay, listen. You feel it back there? Swallow. Swallow, Mary. Hold your breath. Mary Lou, listen, hold your breath. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, no. Yeah. Open your mouth. Uh -huh. Drink that. Open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Okay. Hold this two Okay, Mary Lou. You good here? Yeah. Now keep your hand down, Mary Lou. This one? Okay. Is it pink or what? Wider. A what? No, we're better get it. Just said it. Well, we don't know how it's balanced. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's happening. So, you can get some blood. But you seem to be going to get more and more blood. Sodium amytol is used to control and prevent convulsions in the chronic barbiturate abuser. 
Other anticonvulsants, such as Dilantin, are ineffective for this purpose. Regardless of how near death they may appear, an overwhelming percentage of drug abuse patients respond to effective emergency treatment. When the emergency is over, a withdrawal schedule with elixir of Nembutal or Seconol is set up for the chronic barbiturate abuser. Do you remember what time you took the pills? How many did you take? Whatever was in the bottle. I think it was about 24. In other cases of barbiturate intoxication, for example, the kind seen after a single overdose, somewhat different problems arise. 188 over 120. What's your name? Chance. FBS, B-U-N, lights, C-B-C. L-E-S. B-U-N, lights, barbs. C-B-C. Janice, I'm going to have to put this tube down, and I need you to help me. It doesn't hurt, but it's uncomfortable. All right, take it easy. When I tell you to, I want you to swallow, okay? All right, take it easy. Take a couple deep breaths. Better, girl. Now, get ready to swallow. Swallow. Pardon me? Swallow. Swallow, hon. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sit up a little bit. Take a couple deep breaths. Can I have a little bit of water for her? All right. Give her a rub. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're okay. All right. Don't swallow. Now swallow. Okay. Okay. That's a. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay, here now. You want to take that seat? Yeah. Did you eat anything purple? You're not vomiting anymore. Just take it. Coming after the two. What's purple on your lips? Yeah, I noticed that too. I asked her. She said she didn't have anything else but the food. The possibility of suicide is a principal concern, even when the patient denies any thought or intention of self-destruction. You want to tell me again what happened to your hands? It was a fire in the restaurant. When was this? Night before last. Night before last. And what happened? We had to get the back window open to let the smoke out. Was there anybody with you? The fire department came. You didn't see a doctor about your risks? No, I got, it happened the night before last. Was uh, it a bad fire? Did you give me some No, we put it out right away. Put it out right away? Yes. And did you, you broke Once the glass in the window? Yes, uh, in the back. Well, how did you get your wrists then? I just did it like that. So I just got disgusted. Did you ever do this before? Never. Were your wrists bandaged up? We had a fire in the restaurant the other night. What were you thinking about when you took the pills? Just uh, disgusted, you know, just uh, very depressed. Was anybody in the house when you took them? I took them at the restaurant. The restaurant tape is closed. Was there anybody around? Or did you take the place so? Oh. I took them by myself. This is just the past two weeks because of all the problems and the drinking. 
my husband went over to the to take a steam bath. In many cases, no signs of suicidal intent are apparent. Nevertheless, uh, the depressant like drug abuser should always be submitted for a psychiatric home. evaluation. I felt like I was fading away. Fading away? Did you lose consciousness at any time? No, I almost, but I, I, I didn't. How did you get in touch with somebody? How did they find out that you took the pills? I called my parents because my husband wouldn't send for an ambulance. I got panicky at the last minute, and I asked him to call the ambulance, and he wouldn't. He just sat there and laughed. Your husband? Yes. Do you believe you've mm. taken the pills? If inadequately treated, barbiturate abuse may result in psychosis, depression of the respiratory center, convulsions, and, in some instances, death. The amphetamine abuser generally presents a picture of verbosity, hypermotility, euphoria, aggressiveness, and paranoid ideation. You're feeling uh, just the way you usually do? Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel great. I feel like, you know, on the moon here. Oh, well, you welcome, uh, Fred and Lemuel Munchkin. Here, over the moon. Yeah, <laughs> but good. you it's seem to fun. be quite excited. No. Are you usually well, uh, very excited? I feel good, that's all. I feel good. Has been, anything been happening to you recently? Uh, no. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, Where did you get all these? Did you buy these or did they give them to you here? Do you... Did they give this to you? No, I, I bought them. Just sit down, oh, Peter. Oh, fantastic. Tell me, do you have a headache? No, I don't. Where'd you get that? You know, what kind of sugar? That was a sugar. That's what I'm... Well, it is. Good God, it's fantastic. Now, sit down. Just, heart, yeah. I have no heart disease. No, okay, I'm, so I'm, very, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Well, Tell me you why you are here. I don't know. I don't know. My grandmother brought me here for no reason. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, do you feel any palpitations Pal in the no. chest? No. No, I forgot. No, and you're not uh, dizzy? No. Mm -mm. Are you, uh, do you feel nervous? No, no. Do you always jump around this way? I'm not jumping around. Yes, you are jumping around. Uh, no. Now, uh, all I'm going to do is to ask you a few questions, and uh, I'd like to examine you briefly okay, now. You, uh, you feel exactly the way you always do at yeah, the yeah, yeah. time? Yeah, uh, Grandma, uh, what made you bring him in? He just came to the house. He rang the bell. Yeah, Pete, I, uh, Pete, I want you to sit down here. Uh, what is this? I want to examine you, ask you a few uh, questions. I... Oh, now, wait a minute. Okay. Wait, no. All right, no. Uh, what is this? No. Uh, What's with the door? I want to go. Leave it open. open. Peter, uh, you're worried. I would, I would prefer it open. Okay. We'll go home together. You're going to feel right now? all right. No, not, not right now. Not right now. We'll go home together. No, Believe me. Please. I want you to Please. sit down, Peter. Oh, oh, and oh, I'm going to... Please. May I ask you a couple of questions? I want to take your blood pressure and make you feel better. Okay. All right, now just take your jacket off, and I'm going to take your blood pressure. Well, um, so. oh, could I have a, do you have water? I'll get this. Could I have something? I'll take your coat. Thank you. Now, would you uh, sit down, roll your sleeve up? I'd like to take your blood pressure. Um. Have you been taking any uh, drugs or any medicine? Well, I don't do that kind of stuff. Have you ever taken speed? No. Or oh, how about Dexys? No. Or what, Alps? What, no. You haven't done that. All Listerine right. is as far as I go. Did, no. you, uh, did you ever smoke pot? Oh, no. Very good. Tell come me, come on. Elevated blood pressure, tachycardia, increased so respiratory you know, rate, and fever are frequently found in amphetamine abuse emergencies. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Some users, however, develop a tolerance to the drug, and these symptoms may not be present. Will you please? Peter. Now, just wait a minute. One second. It's off me. All right, okay, that's good. All. Well, now, now, now I'm just going on. to look at your eyes. When he said you're all right. Oh, no, when he said Let me look right. at your eyes, you Peter, know? and look. then See, we'll... Then we'll get, happy? Okay. Now, just hold your... You hold your head still and look right at well, my nose. Look at my nose now. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. You see any roaches All right, or I'm going to give him an injection of that. Uh, oh, no. Uh -huh. 10 milligrams. Nah, this is... Intermuscular injection. Would you oh, bring it in? to stay. All right, now, look. You got to stay. You're going to feel a lot better. We're trying to I help you. I feel good. What do you want? You're not better. You're not. You're not good. You and better. you need to You're not help. standing here, okay? No. Yeah, no, I feel good. Down. Well, maybe... Maybe you think you feel good, but you are not good. I want to come home, too. Well, 
Let's go then. There's nothing you can go. You'll go home. Uh -huh. You'll go home in a Just few minutes. Me. And uh, please, after you get the injection, please. now sit down. Um. In most cases, medication is unnecessary. Where indicated, however, the drug of choice is Valium. Now, I want you to stay still. She's right here. She's right here. It won't hurt. All right, now, if you rest for a minute, you're going to feel a great deal better. Now, just bathroom around here. I really got to go. We're going to let you go to the bathroom in a few minutes, all right? Well, I'm going to go right now. Now, just sit down just and tell me, uh, can be the you and are you, the heart out. I don't give no, well, come on, I'm really here. Are you sure you haven't been taking any tablets of any kind? No, I don't take aspirin, Did you ever hear, did you, have, did you ever hear of speed? No, no. You've not, have you ever heard of is. pot? No. You're not telling me the truth, Peter. I, I'm telling you the I don't truth. want you to lie to me. Okay, You're I know what it is. I lie. don't use it. I, yeah. I don't use it, okay? So then you do know what speed is. What? Did you use it at all? Did you take, ever I, take it? I don't take stuff. What Did, can I tell you? Have you taken it? Grandma, I don't take stuff. Sit down, Peter. <laughs> have you taken a single dose for the first time recently um, at a party? Were you at a party? Peter, oh, Peter, tell yeah. me. I was at a party, so yeah, I don't know. Did you uh, smoke anything? No, it's okay. Did you take any tablets? No, no. Any liquids? Uh, no. I think you're lying to me. Did you take anything at all? Well, uh, there was this, uh, they had this water. Uh, then there was, some kids were shooting up, but, uh... But uh, how about uh, you? <laughs> now you're feeling a little better now? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, okay. All right, uh, we're going to, um, have you sit here for a little bit. And, um, uh, if... Do you have any unusual uh, sensations? If you feel your heart jumping around, you around have you got a? Do you have a headache at all? No, no. I don't, I, do you feel better now than you did when you came I'm, in? I'm a little more at ease with you, yes. Were you uh, uh, very afraid of something a little while ago when you came in? No, I just want to know what's going on. That's all. Well, have you been to the doctor before? <laughs> Recovery after an amphetamine binge can be misleading. The patient's apparent improvement may be, in fact, a mask for underlying depression and suicidal ideation. Therefore, psychiatric consultation is indicated. Now, what you need to do now is to go home and rest, and then I'd like to see you in the morning and uh, examine you again and see if there are any after effects of this medicine. Come in with Grandma, and uh, it won't take uh, much time, and I think uh, it will be good for you. Wonderful. Uh, The most dangerous hallucinogen is LSD. Other substances whose abuse results in similar emergencies are mescaline, DMT, STP, and THC, or more potent forms of cannabis. We just want to get you here so you can talk to What happened? He got sick, and he's tonight. Well, I guess, uh, I just, I'm just holding your hands. Okay. What do you take? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what he took, you know, but he just made him sick. Has he been uh, taking anything? Any kind of drug? Take it. Oh, uh, come on. Um. Have you been taking any drugs? Have you? 
Look at it. What's your name? Huh? Do you know your name? Yeah, of course I know my name. What is it? It's Donald. Do you know where you want to have Donald? Yeah, I'm in the hospital. Which one? I came to the hospital. Which one? Do you know? You have to help us out and let us know what, uh, what happened. Which hospital? You need to know that? Well, we want to know what he took. What did you take? There. And just the usual, you know, that everybody takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did I just have to run straight up? You take LSD, that? too? Huh? LSD? Sometimes. Sometimes. How about today? <laughs> oh, I really not No, it, it won't hurt. Just relax. It's just relax. pressure, Donna. Just, what did you take today, Donna? Oh. <laughs> Let's just get this fucking thing off, right? Well, you want to take a blood pressure? Okay. okay, it won't, you know, I'm just want to see what it is. What did you take today? Today? Yeah. What did you take before you came over? Uh, why did you come, why did you come because in? Because I... Why did you come to the emergency room? I don't know. I didn't yeah, why? It's a mistake. Yeah, why? Because he said he didn't feel good, you know? Because. And, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And he's not so really sick. Do you feel like this? Oh, uh, no. He doesn't often feel like that. Well, why did you come into the emergency room? See, I came, I came into the fucking emergency room because I didn't, because I took some acid and I don't, and it's not okay, looking fine. right. Okay. And it just isn't going, fine. it's not going good or it's not going okay, right. we want to help you out with that. There are many similarities between the LSD bad trip and the amphetamine abuse emergency, but there is one major difference. Speed overdose is usually characterized by paranoid behavior, while the LSD bad trip produces visual hallucinations, which may be frightening to the patient. How do you feel now? Just, uh, back my neck. <laughs> What's the matter with back neck? Oh, it's running down. What's running down there? Oh, hot fluid. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. Is the best part over, or? It wasn't on the best. In a very good chair. That's what I said. That's why I'm here. If it was nice, I wouldn't go on it. This the only bad trip you had? You don't need an injury. He was getting crazy. Yeah, that's what I want to find out. So why don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened after you took it? I'm, I'm not a policeman, I'm a physician, and to find out so what, what you want to know how I feel? How do you want to feel? Happening? Right. Do you want to lie back? Do you feel more comfortable? Sure. sure. Maybe at this point, yeah. we could put him in a wheelchair but why? and speak to someone. Oh. You know, you can talk to someone in a, in a place that's a little nicer looking than this. Oh. You know, without all this medical stuff. It's okay. All right. You know? You know? It's all right. I'm going to go get the wheelchair. How do you feel about that, okay? <laughs> Be more comfortable. And yeah, it'll be. It's a nicer room, and it's quieter, and it doesn't have all this medical equipment around. And you could just sit and talk to someone. Tunnel. Tunnel. I want to talk with you alone. Okay. Stay with me. All right. So tiny, stay with me. Okay. Carol, you I go with the lady. No, you don't have to. I can't but hold them if you stay. But you can't do it if I don't. You'll be together soon. You'll be together soon. All right. A few minutes. There you go. Uh. Come on. Come on. Why don't you sit down over here? Okay. That's, um, that's good. Was sit down there. Where did uh? Where's Carol? She's with a very nice lady, and everything's going to be okay. As a rule, the treatment consists of talking the patient down. In rare instances, a tranquilizer such as Valium may be useful. Flying this kite, I flew this kite. I was walking on a hill. I was on this hill, and uh, and I picked it up and ran down the hill, and it got off. So the next week I went, and I bought a Japanese beetle kite and put it together, and, uh... There are no hard and fast rules for talking a patient down, so insane, but, but several insane. points should be kept in mind. It works best in a warm, friendly atmosphere. Physical contact is important, 
as well as the physician's manner of talking, listening, and relating to the patient. What's, what's your overall feeling? My overall sensation? Y yeah, feeling. Inside. Oh. But, and then, you know, I keep thinking about the same fucking thing keeps driving into my brain and it keeps coming back, you know? And the, and the thing that keeps coming back is that I want to get out of here. Now, stay, stay and let's <laughs> wait from you. Yeah, let's, you, let's talk a little bit more about it. It's really hard. It's really hard. When flashes, when blood is coming through. My fucking blood is going through. Oh. Is it pleasant or unpleasant? Well, it's different, I'll say that. I don't know. Um, I can't, uh, What else are you around? I can't get around. What does it feel like? It feels good. It feels better up here than it does down there. Colors? It's ultraviolet. Pleasant? Unpleasant? No, it feels good. It feels good. What does it feel? Fuck you, man! Just fuck you, that's all! Maybe it'd be more comfortable if you sit down, you're still a little wobbly. You're up a little bit high. Because it's the only time that I can straighten anything out. How would you straighten all anything out? Alone, all all alone, by myself, with nobody talking, nobody hassling, nobody just being, just being. That's all, just existing, just fucking being. That's all. Just to, just, alone. Just fucking being. That's just. Just feeling the energy that's in my body because I know what I'm doing. I, I'm taking a fucking drug and, and it's just affecting me this way because I don't even need, I can just t tell myself what's happening. You, you see, it doesn't really it doesn't really mean. Uh, Donald, it looks like you've leveled off considerably. How do you feel now? I feel drained. Trained. It was pretty, uh, pretty bad scene. I mean, why, why would you want to go through something like that? Was that pleasant or? This, this isn't the first time. No, but it never uh, happened like that before. You've dropped acid before, but you never had a bump trip. No, I never, never uh, had anything like that ever happen to me. Do you know what flashbacks are? Yeah. Does that ever worry you that you might have one? I, I, you know, it's, I thought about it, but I don't know. It doesn't stop you from using? Um, no, it hasn't so far. Came in with you were you were tripping together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think the future has for you? What What do you want to do for yourself? 